Do you think I should do five different tests to make sure I'm actually recording this time and that we're not going to waste a whole hour? I mean, you could just look at the waveform in, in- Yeah, that would be smart. You would you would think that'd be my first go-to <laughs> when doing a test. You know, like if, if there were any brain cells left in there, you know, surely that would be my go-to. <laughs> but no. I mean, it just happens. Oh, by the way, I started the episode uh, 29 seconds ago. So, hey, everybody, welcome back to the Simeon Jimmy Treehouse podcast with Florian Himsel yet again, two weeks in a row. Yeah, you, you tried to get me to yell at you for deleting that podcast, but no, I I, I still love you, okay? Oh, wow. I'm so glad you said that. I was actually, I've been worried all week, <laughs> sick with guilt, grief, and regret. I even did a live stream all about how I made this heinous mistake. <laughs> So yeah. much like that Tenacious D song tribute where they are, they're not playing the greatest song in the world. They're just doing a tribute to it. Uh, maybe this will have to be our tribute to the greatest podcast episode perhaps ever recorded. Well, I guess not recorded. Half of it was. <laughs> <laughs> are, are there any, you know, breakout moments from that great podcast that nobody will ever hear that you would like to resurrect on this episode? Well, there was the, the one time where we found out that I was always being filtered out when I was laughing because apparently Discord noise filtering thinks that laughing is a noise and it should be filtered. Uh, did we get that had... fixed? Hmm? Did we fix that? Uh, yeah, I, you should hear me laugh whenever I do. Okay, well, we have to <laughs> test it out. I gotta find a way to make you laugh. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I know what'll make you laugh. Hitler did something wrong. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, it's comical to you because you actually believe all of the the choices he made were correct and morally justified. Wow. All of them, huh? Wow. That's yeah, that's why you, it would be laughable to say that he did something wrong. Do you get it now? Yeah. But okay. I, well, actually, I, I can talk it through a little bit more because I, I don't hear you laughing, so. See, I just prefer Abrador Flinkley. <laughs> Hey, spo yeah, spoilers if you idea. haven't seen that episode, uh, not of Rick and Morty, but of uh, Survivor Simulator. What did you think of doing that? Did oh, you yeah. be honest with me? Because most people uh, probably don't like that type of video. Was it fun, the Survivor Simulator? Yeah, it, it was pretty fun, but I, I, I guess the the actual like content of, of the Survivor seems a bit repetitive. I guess it'd be it would be more interesting if it was less episodes i guess I well you're supposed option. to only do one episode a week uh in a binge yeah it's going to be the most repetitive product oh, on yeah. television but still uh 43 seasons in i'm still watching oh right well i mean if there's real people it's interesting we're like reading it you know it's well i think i i tried to uh have us evaluate what's going on a little bit more even though like it oh, is yeah. just nonsense uh i, I try to bring it alive <laughs> even though yeah it's just completely randomized nothing happening yeah i mean yeah it would be better if it was like a lower amount of it and it'd be more interesting i guess but yeah i it was fun i could do another one uh do, are there any other bits from the Lost podcast you wanted to bring up? Or should we move on to making a new podcast? Oh, well, I'm sure I'll... I already forgot most of the stuff I said. I guess my... Oh, wait, no, I... No, we I gave updates say, on yeah. your dating life and uh, some of your sugar babies. Well, maybe we should oh, yeah. rehash that since it's new information to the viewer. Yeah, nobody should ever miss out on my, my great lore, I guess. And I'm so good at forgetting things, I'll just... Oh, I forgot the story. Oh, I guess Florian has to tell me again. I don't remember what happened. Perfect. I just hit that button on my brain and it's gone. Well, I, I'd like to apologize to, to the users because it, it it seemed like I was I was nagging this girl, you know, because I, I said I, I was happy to, to see her until I, I found like the, the perfect girl for me. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I feel like being honest should be okay. You know? Wait, it's were the like viewers... Did you get the impression that the viewers were disappointed in you after listening to our last, uh, like, one-on-one -on -one oh. episode? Oh, no, no, fuck them, it's just... Oh, like, you don't I, care? Yeah, no, I, I just don't want to come off as, like, not not caring for women, but, you know, I, I think it would, it would still work out. Do you she think you came running. across like you don't care about women? <laughs> I, I guess there were actually some people who were like, oh, no, sex work is wrong. It's like, come on. And then, like, I, I talked a little more with them, and it's like, 
Sex work is just like real work, and that's wrong. And like, come on, no, I don't have time for this communism right now. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but yeah. Anyways, so I I, f- I found like the I, I guess the perfect sugar baby. She she is she is cheap and she <laughs> she, <does like laughs> she does cheap. She's some of the. That wasn't the end of it. Like, okay. She, she, it was the beginning, some... though. Like, that, you didn't <clears> talk <throat> about her personality or even her looks. It was, like, what is the monetary <clears throat> value of this woman? And that is why she's so valuable to me. Because well, I like I to mean, hoard my fucking money like some sort well, of dragon. I mean, we were, that would be redundant, considering that I was already dropping, like, the other one for not being pretty enough, so you <laughs> have to a- assume that this one would be perfect, you know? Well, I want to hear, what does your ideal woman look like? What is this woman's uh, proportions to begin? We're well, talking, like, big tall. chubby, like Paul Bart's daughter? <laughs> no, no, she is, she's fairly tall. She's not the skinniest, but, I mean, well, I mean, <laughs> to an American, she'd be, uh, I guess, amazing. She'd be a supermodel over in America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are things that you better not say in front of her, that she's cheap and she's not the skinniest. Maybe, hopefully oh, that's well, only I, for this podcast and not in front of her. Well, I do tell her that she should ask for more money, but, you know, whatever. You kind of... I'm sure she'll... Is that like a self-cuck? Like, oh, no, <laughs> please ask me for more money. Well, I'm like... Like if you could, if you'd stay for another hour, you'd make double the money. Wouldn't, wouldn't that <laughs> oh, be nice? Wow. You're like fucking Walter White begging the the disappearing <laughs> vacuum man to stay for another hour to play cards. <laughs> You're so lonely. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna pay him like an extra twenty five grand to play <laughs> fucking Texas Hold'em or something? <laughs> well, no, it wouldn't be that much. <laughs> Pay her no, to actually, uh, binge the new Rick and Morty season with you. <laughs> yeah, no, she's actually like really good. Like she, she even stays to, to have like lunch with me afterwards. And does she prepare you know, the food, or does she like sit there on the couch while you painstakingly, you know, or over a stove? <laughs> no, no, I, I, I pay at the restaurant, but it, it's still Ooh, nice. I, I like, like other sugar babies would charge you like for for every every hour, you know, even if it's like not even doing this thing <laughs> but she is just happy to get the free meal yeah i mean yeah that's good i mean she i, I, I wanted her to to stay longer anyways but you know she she didn't want to ask for more money so that's that's pretty cool i guess she's got like a, a a damaged relationship to money like like my mom i guess even though <laughs> well <laughs> In a different line of work, I should say. <laughs> oh, your mom's not also a, an escort? <laughs> no, no, I think my mom might actually be, like, asexual. I, I still want to do something. It's a show. miracle you were born! I know, right? Uh, like, if only if only she would have just not been uh, peer pressured into that heinous, disgusting sex, the world would have been <laughs> rid of one extra squid. <laughs> this podcast would never be the same. Yeah, it's, like, crazy. I guess she hasn't had, like any relationship for like i guess 15 years now it's just wild you know so yeah. if any of you uh you know bachelors in the audience <laughs> are looking for a you know a fine woman florian's <laughs> mom is waiting no no she's pretty much like sworn off men for no reason you know if any sexy women think you can convert an asexual <laughs> mother <laughs> <laughs> yeah i get <laughs> a 65 year old woman hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. okay now yeah I guess that math checks out you're about 30 right I'm 35 wait you're 35 uh, I'm 34 yeah. wow yeah. fucking old man I know right I never stopped growing old god damn I-, I thought Eggy was the oldest to be on this show at 30 how old is low wow. res I wonder he's probably up in his 30s it's weird, like, Kino seems like he'd be, like, in his 40s, but I guess not. Kino really. seems like he'd be in his 40s? What are you talking about? K- Kino <laughs> is the quintessential 25-year-old man. I mean, if you look at him, but, like, if you hear his voice, you wouldn't think so, would you? I don't think he has an old man voice. No, definitely not. <laughs> Do you listen to his videos, dude? He sounds like a fucking college student. <laughs> what? Completely. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, I don't get that impression. Wow. Well, <laughs> vote in the straw poll link below. Does Kino Corner <laughs> sound like a 40-year-old man or a 25-year-old man? Wow, yeah, that's totally worth it. I, I, I guess it's great. <laughs> it's now worth the 10 hear. seconds it'll take for me to make a straw poll. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's worth him knowing about it, I guess. <laughs> Uh, he has confessed he does not watch any videos that I've ever made. Uh, he just wants to, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> be a succubus off of, uh, you know, the great success of Izakino. He's not going to actually watch anything that we make. So he'll never hear this conversation. It'll be fine. I thought we, we forced him to be on the show as a settlement because he keeps using our name, you know? Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he did say that uh, we had the name first. Which I think yeah. uh, the name Is It Kino was a recommendation from Digibro, so really the credit goes to ah. her. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, thank you, Digi. Was All my Digi success now? is uh, <laughs> straight to you. <laughs> I know, it is highly successful. 1% top podcast, you know. Yeah, no, what's funny is it used to be called the Kino cast. Digibro said, hey, you should change it to Is It Kino. I was like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. And then Kino Corner also has a podcast called the Kino Cast. So, um, clearly it's the most generic name ever if we both came up with it. That's amazing, yeah. I guess the most pretentious name, probably. <laughs> I guess so. Well, that's cool, you know. <laughs> I want to hear more about this woman, though. What makes her your ideal woman? Because we, like, what are, what color is her hair, you know? Like, does she have uh, Anya Taylor-Joy eyes in opposite hemispheres? <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't want to go into too much detail, you know, but... Oh, you think we're going to go find her? These super <laughs> sleuths are going to go search the, all the whore towns in Austria? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, yeah, no, she, she's she got black hair. I guess she's, like, I, I guess, like, fairly normal looking, you know? Hell yeah. Black hair all the way. I'm tired of this blonde <laughs> bullshit they're trying to push on us. We, I have to pretend that that looks good? No, thank you. Yeah, I'm actually pretty particular in that. I, I, uh, I mean, I think my ideal is blonde, but blonde oh, girls. Oh come have... on, you fucking Austrian! Such a typical fucking Austrian. I'm still going. Well, my preference geez. is the blonde with the blue eyes, but you know, it's just no, the it's, master race. I was going to say the opposite, actually. You, you just said you prefer blonde. So let's hear yeah, this backtrack. I, Back it up. Beep, I, beep, beep. Wow, you just can't listen. Oh, okay. I'm listening, I'm listening. L the problem with the blondes is that they usually have blue eyes, and I think blue eyes look pretty awful. I think brown eyes <laughs> Whoa! are like, like, the most beautiful. Wow! I don't know why. <laughs> That's not even a hot take. That's just uh, genetic cruelty, Florian. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know, man. It's, it's weird. Yeah, like... It doesn't seem like the the right color. I Perhaps you're afraid really of the weird. ocean and somebody's blue eyes. You you might get the feeling you're gonna drown in them. Yeah, maybe I I just keep getting reminded of of Game of Thrones, you know, and, and all like those ice zombies, and then also they they had a horrible ending, you know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. So the White Walkers are why you're afraid of blue eyed women. I mean, I guess it's like like in. I mean, zombies always have, like, lighter eyes, so I, I don't know, it just feels feels weird, you know? <laughs> Blue eyes, white zombie. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> so was there a story to accompany all of this uh, dating uh, updates, or is that it, just that you have now your perfect woman? I mean, yeah, she, she's pretty good. She's, she's great to talk to, and... I, I see her now like once a week. That's pretty good. The other one used to be more expensive, and so I wouldn't see her as often. <laughs> this is this is good, but I guess she she doesn't want to like go exclusive, so so she she encourages me to also like keep looking at other women. So I I oh, met no. a a German girl that was blonde, and and I I had to pick her up at the train station. So I. I, I took that Hopefully not the train her. station to Auschwitz, Florian. I know you guys have a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. There probably wouldn't be any trains there anymore, you know? <laughs> Why not? Not much business going on anymore? Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. Uh, you're, America says you're welcome. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I, I guess I guess if anyone has seen that picture of me with the hat, you know, that's where it's from. I went to the train station. 
and there was <laughs> no Thomas the Tank Engine. I once photoshopped it. Did you actually use that one for the for the picture? So the since uh, I don't know if that episode is out yet. Maybe it is, but uh, we did a review of Bullet Train, and then it also like halfway through turned into a review of the Rings of Power. And Florian had made a Bullet Train thumbnail, but now that it's also about something else, uh, I had to make a different one. But as you watch Uh-oh. the video, the image that Florian made is like the video itself. Uh, it's, it's just not the thumbnail. Uh, you're cutting out a little bit. I think uh, Discord's fucking this up. Uh, okay, Florian, I'm done talking about the usefulness of hats or whatever the fuck we were talking about when our Discord stopped working for a little bit. Um, I We have lots of segments that we need to get to today. Yeah. Like a lot. So now that we're done recapping the other episode, uh, I'm going to pull up my <laughs> list here. Uh, oh, let's briefly talk about the She-Hulk podcast that we're doing with uh, The Weekend Warrior. And now basically everybody else has joined that show at some point. Um, but I found an interesting statistic about podcasting. Do you remember what it was? I think it was the fact that uh, you only need 2,000 000- uh, average views. 3,000. To be in the top 3,000 would be in the average 1% of podcasts. Yeah, if your if any episode of your podcast gets over 3,000 views within a week, like, you are statistically in the top 1% of most listened to podcasts ever. Just because there are so many podcasts that get no views at all. I think it was even if you get 2,400 views, you're in the top 5%. So on average, Florian, every is it Kino, every She-Hulk, you know, every podcast we do is basically in like the top three to one percent of podcasts in history, uh, which you know really puts things into perspective with how uh, many podcasts are just complete failures. Because I don't feel like we're that successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I I guess it's pretty sad, huh? Uh, it is say. very sad. <laughs> Well, but then again, I guess it means everyone can put their message out, even if just a hundred people or maybe less <laughs> listen to it, you know? Yeah, and, and I'll never complain about uh, a view count, because the fact that people still want to watch me in mass at this point is just shocking. <laughs> so, like, the fact that 3,000 people want to listen to us talk, like, two or three times a week is, uh, like, that's nothing I can ever complain about, because it's just incredible. Yeah, if we, if we just used more clickbait thumbnails would probably even get that number up a little bit you know <laughs> yeah i guess so i don't know <laughs> i i, I guess, guess if that. you want to start making every thumbnail but uh, so according to you a thumbnail of you at the train station wearing a hat <laughs> next to a photoshopped thomas the tank engine you think that's fucking clickbait that somebody oh, oh i never <laughs> click on this channel but now that i've seen florian's fucking face i guess i'm gonna watch this uh, 40 minute podcast okay Great, well, last, Florian. Let's do it. Make the, more thumbnails. The last version of this podcast got a lot of views where it was just my face. So I guess it worked, you know? Yeah, what should we title this one then? What's the clickbait? Um, Florian's Dark Secret oh, oh, Revealed. <laughs> You're the clickbait master, so you gotta tell me. Is that what it will get the clicks? Yeah, that's the problem. I'm always clueless as to, as to coming up with something like that. Oh. That's probably why I don't have any views on my channel either. <laughs> well, we need to now have you reveal a dark secret so that the title is not a lie. So let's hear it. Oh, damn. It's on the spot. Um, yeah, gets to thinking. Wow. <laughs> um, wow, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be gonna be rough mm, a yeah. dark dark secret other than your mom is a 15 year asexual and that uh <laughs> that your new girl is cheaper and not so skinny no i mean she is like still god damn it <laughs> <laughs> you said I it mean, dude she... <laughs> did i say not yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe well i mean I, I i said it in a different way i meant like compared to the the What's the word? Anorexic previous one, you know? <laughs> but but I still sometimes lust after her, you know? Maybe that's my dark secret. I, I still want that that flat earthing flat tummy <laughs> no! girl, you know? No. I, you know, she had like the softest flat tummy. It was so good. Oh man, you gotta call her back, dude. That is a dark secret that you know, like <laughs> craving your ex, you know, it's it's nothing you want her it's not it's not a good thing. 
<laughs> yeah, see, I, I got this new girlfriend now, but I I still wanna like touch you a few more times, you know, please. <laughs> 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 yeah, very dark. That's gonna be great. You're gonna have to make it like a, just like a dark, evil, sinister thumbnail of your face for this episode. Wow. And if it if it gets to five thousand views, then uh, that'll be like in the point one percent of podcasts. We'll be up there with Joe Rogan. <laughs> well, there was there was this one guy who who wanted me to to play a demon in his short film, and I I made like a red version of my. <laughs> Of that previous thumbnail, so I guess we already got that one. Oh yeah, <laughs> we can, can use that. It. Did you uh, see our uh, live stream reaction to that short film? No, I didn't. I, who, who was in that? I the I don't stream. remember right now. We watched like 20 of them, but uh, the one that you were in, I think, did kind of well with the audience. I think they liked it. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> I gotta say, I wasn't aware the guy was gonna use a computer voice. <laughs> but at, at least he, he paid me for it, so that was fun. How much did he pay you for that? Hmm, am I allowed to say? Ah, oh, well. Why not? He paid, me, he paid me 50 bucks, it was great. Yeah, that's a good deal. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I, he even let me change the script slightly. <laughs> Um, so back to the She-Hulk podcast with Weekend Warrior. We have been in talks, Florian, and perhaps the greatest collaboration of all time is currently in the works. Holy shit. Because we all three agreed, after She-Hulk weekly reviews come to an end, we will be starting a weekly One Piece read-along recap review analysis podcast with you, me, and Weekend Warrior. Reading and, yeah. and discussing one volume of One Piece every week, which means it would take us approximately two years just to catch up to where the story is right now. If uh, we don't miss probably... a week, which was, is, <laughs> we're definitely going to be missing some weeks in there. No, we won't. We'll just do wow. two episodes. What are you... If we're going to work ahead? I mean, it should be so simple, shouldn't it? Yeah, it just depends on how much you guys want to read and record, you know, like we could just record once a week like we're doing for She-Hulk, but if you guys want to do three a week so that we can stock up on them, that's fine by me. I, I could read and talk about One Piece all day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe we can do like two a week, but not on the same day, so I have time to separate them. Yeah. Uh, yeah we'll have to talk to Weekend about great. that, but that would be a good idea. Well, he seems to be less busy than we originally thought, so I, I guess it'll work out. Um, and it will not be posted on this channel. It will be for my One Piece channel, but I'll, every time a new episode comes up, I'll uh, do like a, a community post to make people go look at it if they want to. Um, but also, for the first time in like four or five years, I'm actually going to have a podcast available on podcasting apps. Like, uh, you know, Google Podcasts and Spotify and all that shit. Um, I don't really remember how to do that, but uh, E. Rich and Florian, I think, can help me figure it out. Because I think we all used to do it together, right? I think it was just E. Rich, actually. Uh, well, I think you were helping us pay for it, at least. Um. <laughs> if I recall, but uh, I, it, it I can't be that expensive. I might have. Yeah, no, I think it was like... I think he said it was five bucks a month. Yeah, um, yeah. Like back in the day, you, me, and Florian, or you, me, and Everich would uh, <laughs> split the bill on having Izakino up. And somehow it's still up, but nobody's paying for it anymore. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe Everich has been <laughs> getting like billed 15 bucks a month and just doesn't even know. Oh, well, maybe we shouldn't mention that. I guess. Yeah, no, we'll pay. It's fine. <laughs> I just yeah. don't want to upload them myself. Uh, no, I mean, hey. I'll, I'll pay for the One Piece podcast because, I mean, that. You know, that's what I want to do. Oh, I thought you might do the Kino one. Uh, you, you still want to pay to have Izakino up on there? I mean, probably better than One Piece. Uh, I don't know. I like having Izakino just on YouTube, but maybe it would find an audience on those apps. I don't know. People always re request it, but then it's like, uh, well, so I'm going to get less views on my monetized <laughs> YouTube channel to get views on a service I have to pay for? Like, it just sounds like I'm losing money. Well, I don't know. People listen there. I don't know. It'd probably be convenient, but who knows? I guess I'll have to figure out how to monetize a podcast. I don't know how to get ads in there. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't do ads. I, uh, well, I then I'm hate. fucked. What a waste of time. 
<laughs> yeah, imagine if we started doing like surf shark ads or or whatever, or like raid shadow legends. I hey, mean, I'm willing to those. do my own yeah, audience really... pays me fifty dollars to advertise their channels and products. Just nobody has uh, offered in the last like eight episodes. But if anybody still <laughs> wants an advertisement on any podcast I do, you know the offer is out there. Oh, well, that's better than those other ones, I guess. Oh, but, but who knows? I guess there, there could be, like, crazy shit in there. Hmm. I could just oh, wow. uh, go Howard Hamlin on Cameo and deny all the funny things. <laughs> wow. But Florian, wow. Florian, we've announced the One Piece podcast, so really all of the, the bullshit I had on my list is out of the way so we can get to the real meat and potatoes of this podcast. Um, Finally. And I don't mean the Rick and Morty review. That will be coming up oh, at the end. Florian really wants us to review every episode of the new Rick and Morty season that just came out uh, for us last night. Um, but, Florian, this episode itself won't be out for like two weeks. So, if we're just reviewing the premiere oh, really? episode... Yeah, because we I... the, the Survivor episode has not come out yet. Right, but that one's timeless, whereas this one will be relevant... Uh, so you want me to change the order after we already <laughs> spoiled the Aberdolf Linkler subplot? I don't think so. <laughs> but you said she didn't even mention anything. And at the beginning, yeah, I said Florian two weeks in a row, implying they've already seen the Survivor episode that you were in. You motherfucker. Uh, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. So fuck you. <laughs> Which means I guess uh, we might have to review two or three episodes at a time in the future just to catch up. But that's not uh, that's a big deal. That's probably probably fine because I, I'm not even sure. Like, I mean, I I, I want to do like my my season review of of the seasons. I probably won't cover the non-story episodes as much, anyways. Well, we will do the premiere episode review at the end of this show, but. Uh, and give me one moment to drink my tea because my allergies are fucking me and uh, I need my tea. Well, yeah, that is a, a story <laughs> episode, so it'll, it should be reviewed, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, I wonder how many story episodes there will be. Probably not that many, well, what's, but we'll see. Uh, we'll get into this, but what's interesting about this episode is that it takes old and like non-story episodes and canonizes them to make it feel like even the random one-off episodes are still part of the canon and should be part of the overall story um i really like that aspect of the new episode but i need to get my revenge on you very quickly <laughs> florian oh shit florian oh you're in for it now my friend this might be the worst or possibly best segment in in my podcasting career you might re recall, Florian, that you made an animation of me using my voice, my likeness, yes. me having sex with Donald Trump. <laughs> yes. And I was shocked, mortified, and disgusted to learn one day that my grandmother, who lives in Arizona, <laughs> stumbled somehow on your YouTube channel, stumbled ac across this animation of her grandson fucking the former president and the most shocking part of all was that she thought it was very funny and she called me on the phone to say how she was just dying laughing and and I, oh, yeah. I, i've not been able to live that down ever since that day floor and you have really <laughs> tarnished my reputation in, in a way no other sex scandal ever could <laughs> yeah if, if only you had no one unconsciously made those moaning sounds you know but, <laughs> yeah but no i but no, I actually just recorded you when we were having actual sex. So, so. true. So true. Yeah, yeah. I was flabbergasted to find out you'd secretly yeah. recorded me and put it in this Trump video. Um, yeah, so today... being recorded while having sex secretly. Wouldn't that be embarrassing? It'd be horrible. It would, life yeah. ruining, some might say. But f speaking yeah. of life ruining, I'm about to ruin yours, Florian. If you were going oh, to shit. force Trump's sexuality on me, I think it's only suitable to do it right back. So I did some Googling. <laughs> Are you aware did, of a did website? You AI, I'm, did you AI me at, on, on top of Trump? No, oh God. you can't even imagine what we're about to do. Are uh, you cutting out again? No. No, no, I can't cut out. This is very important. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> am, am I doing better? Yeah. Okay. Let me know if I cut out because you don't want to miss no, any it's of this. Started, it's getting worse again. Oh, no. fuck. Oh man, now everybody's <laughs> on the edge of their seat. They're just dying to know what's going to happen and we might never get to find out. 
Yeah, who will have sex with Trump next? <laughs> we are about to find out. I did some Googling. Can you hear me? <laughs> Am I okay? Yeah, it's still okay. happening. Fuck. Should we try a different service? Okay. Uh, Florian, are you aware of a website called sexstories.com? Sex stories or sack? The name. Sex. Like that no. thing that you do with prostitutes. S-E-X. Sexstories.com. No. It is basically the YouTube of uh, the publicly created erotica or fan fiction of, you know, you can just have any characters you want. Write up a story of them just fucking and sucking, baby. And anybody can upload their story <laughs> to this website. And anything goes. Because as I was uh, searching for a way to torture you, uh, it turns out this website... <laughs> If you enter the keyword Donald Trump, there are 10 full pages of results. So I thought I would read through some of the titles and descriptors of each story, and whichever one you choose, I'm going to force you to listen to me read a little bit, and we can review some Trump erotica. Oh, I thought I was going to be in it. Okay. No, well, you're not in it. I just so I thought this would be a fun way to torture you and to, you know, <laughs> to really get everybody nice and horny in the audience. <laughs> All right. So you want to, I mean, just the titles and the descriptions alone are funny enough without even reading the story, <laughs> but I'm going to read through these and uh, let you comment on each one. Wow. Okay. This one sure. is written by Doc Forbin. The title is Sexual Shenanigans of the Trump Family, uh, colon, Ivanka Trump. The description, a member of America's <laughs> richest has a way to send off a member of his family to the afterlife. Yeah, it's not working. It's cutting out. Oh god, you you what you didn't hear that great description? Uh a member of America's richest has a way to send off a member of his family to the afterlife. Ooh, how does that work? The tags include necrophilia. Hell yeah. Come this on. Is Donald Trump Ivanka Trump necrophilia story. Yeah. Okay, you're not a fan? No, I, I'm, I'm here for it. Okay. Yeah, it's, your, it's your demonetization. No, I'm just here to read the titles and you tell me which one you want to hear. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. So uh, here's okay. another one. It's called Coming Up Trump Part 7. And coming is spelled the way you would imagine it's spelled. <laughs> well, it's going to be hard for anything to beat the necrophemia, but keep going. <laughs> uh, the description is uh, Peyton Manning explores New Mexico and Trump hatches a plan. Mm. It's part seven of some wacky adventure with Donald Trump and Peyton Manning. Yeah, it's probably no point if they go on for too long. You know? how, how long does it take? You don't want to just skip to part seven? <laughs> uh oh, I mean, the, no. The fact that there's seven parts probably means that it's repetitive and stupid, <laughs> but whatever. So? Sure Doc Forbin wrote a sequel, <laughs> Sexual Shenanigans of the Trump Family, Eric Trump, featuring Ivanka. Eric's sister Ivanka is so sexy and nice, he just had to have her, but she wanted him too. Wow. I mean, incest is, is alright, but like necrophilia. <laughs> yeah, yeah why is there no necrophilia in the follow-up episode? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I guess we'll have to go back and find out. <laughs> uh, I just want to read Wait, more of these titles oh, if I can find oh, funny oh, ones. Oh, is this a follow-up? Jeez. Yeah, I think I so. It's, it's by the same guy. Oh, well, I guess they used up the corpse. Uh, are that? there any other titles with Trump's name? Uh, there's, there's one called I Am a Fugitive from Another Galaxy, Part 2. Alien hmm. Romance. <laughs> Why is Trump in that? I mean, Alien Romance could be good, but probably won't be. Like, I mean, it'd be pretty surprising if they had, like, some really crazy, horrendous sex tentacles, you know? But... <laughs> There's one called Donald, colon, Chapert1. They spelled chapter wrong. <laughs> C-H-A-P-E-R-T. <laughs> so if that's the quality of the writing in the title, like, the story itself just must be... You know, just so good to read. Um, and it, it appears that Donald Chapter 1, uh, the tags include job slash place of work and uh, male slash female teens. So I guess uh, some female teens are going to be working for Donald Trump in that one. Wow. Uh, you don't sound like you're impressed by any of this. 
I mean, I, I, I told you that it'd be hard to beat the next one. Oh, fine, so. fine. I'll fucking read that story then. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, the text is tiny. I gotta, like, zoom in 100%. Um, right. hmm. It's great we could do that. So I'm just gonna start reading the story, and uh, anytime you want to interrupt and give some, you know, comments, let me know. <laughs> this is looking very not sexual. Oh, when I was in my teens, my sister Ivana Marie, uh, quote, Ivanka was killed after experimenting with drugs at college. We had a pri- wow, that's really gonna get me horny. <laughs> Story yeah, starts I, off with I'm like a-, a drug overdose in the family. Yeah, I was afraid it was gonna be like Trump died and and he was the the corpse. But I guess if if it's the Ivanka corpse, oh wow. I, I guess if it is in the necrophilia tab, I sh- I should expect death in the very first sentence of my erotic story. So I guess I guess for somebody like their dick just woke up. <laughs> when they uh, started reading. Uh, we held a private funeral at the church my family attended. My dad's closest friends came with us to watch an English royalty named Andrew, a rich guy who loved young girls named Jeffrey. Are you fucking kidding me? Jeffrey Epstein's a character in this story. <laughs> the, the then current president named Bill and Mohammed, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia. What a cast yeah. of characters so far. I mean, I guess you'd expect no less for the funeral of Ivanka Trump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey Epstein's like, oh man, I could have had her. Oh, it's so sad. She died too too old. Isn't she 40? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, she died in college in this story. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. She was laid out in the gown she wore to the homecoming dance. Dark green, medium cut, the kind that hints at her charms, her black hair flowing over her shoulders in a white casket. Okay. Father Paul intoned, In this private funeral, we are assembled to pay homage to Ivanka Trump, Donald, or daughter of Donald and Ivana Trump, stepdaughter of Melania, stepsister of Barron and Tiffany, sister of Donald Jr. and Eric Trump. It's really, it's just now dawning on me. This story is for somebody who wants to <laughs> masturbate to incest throughout the Trumps, but also very specifically, like, a dead person has to be in it. Well, you, you don't know that. It could be Mohammed having sex with her, you know? It doesn't have to be incest. Yeah, but... I mean, it, it probably will be, but... What is the cross-section of people who both want <laughs> necrophilic porn and Donald Trump porn? What is the Venn diagram other than us on this podcast? <laughs> How is it... Yeah, this no, was I the just... very first thing that popped up when I searched Donald Trump! I mean, it's probably the, the people who, who want the funniest one on there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing yet. This is not that funny. Really, it's just been very educational well, so far. Yeah, just establishing, you know, yeah, you know yeah. the time. Okay. Uh, and it looks like the story's not very long, so we might actually get to read the whole thing. Wow, can't wait. Yeah. Uh, Donald reviewed the life of his daughter, drill team captain, homecoming court, National Honor Society, and active in a Christian youth group. If a man could custom order a daughter, Ivanka would be close to what you would want to see. As he continued to talk about her death and accomplishments, we stood up out of the front pew and all undressed. We then stood side by side, nude. (laughs) What's going on? I guess it had to get sexy soon, huh? <laughs> so, so sexy! Standing naked side by side at a funeral! <laughs> hey, you know, the, the forbiddenness probably makes it better somehow for someone. <laughs> this is pretty fucking forbidden, I guess. Uh, even, yeah. Like, even the pastor, like, at the, the priest at the funeral seems to be involved, too. Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Clinton are there. Uh, yeah, Is Hillary there, though? Because then you'll really get horny. Mm-hmm. Yes, Queen. <laughs> what is better if we were to clickbait the podcast? What's better, Florian's Dark Secret or Donald Trump erotica? What's really going to get the people to click? Uh, well, I feel like well, Florian's when, when Dark did... Secret, and then in parentheses, Trump erotica, and <laughs> they can figure it out. It's not <laughs> too secret, you know. <laughs> I, I feel like when when I do Trump stuff, it doesn't get a lot of views, sadly. <laughs> But maybe if you do, it'll be Well, better. it's because you hate him with a passion, and I, I find him very <laughs> funny, unironically. Yeah, that must be why. I mean, I thought I was being funny, too, but okay. 
<laughs> uh, my poor monkey butthole was molested by that man and my grandma had to watch. You think that's funny? Yeah. Nobody should be laughing at that story. It's, you know, it's a tragedy for my life. Yeah, it's in my poor taste. <laughs> yes. <laughs> should I get my grandma on the podcast to, you know, talk to you and compliment you on your great video that you made? I, I guess. I don't know if it could fill a whole episode, though. No, just for like a minute. I, I don't want to talk sure. to my grandma that long. She'll fucking go on about how she did her laundry that day, and I can't <laughs> hang up the phone. Yeah, it'll just be me and her telling really boring stories. You'll be doomed. I mean, maybe she doesn't know what hats do, and you can teach her. Hell yeah. <laughs> so everybody at the funeral is uh, undressed, side by side, nude. My father, Donald, 54, black hair with a medium paunch. What? Did Trump have black hair when he... Isn't he blonde? Huh. What's going on? Did a computer write this story? Let's find out. Young yeah. Trump. Search Donald Trump, age 54. Young Rump? What? Okay, what? fine. Did you uh, have a little bit of I a typo? Yeah. Well, he does look a bit darker, I guess. He had black hair in his 50s? Huh. Hmm. Well, I guess this is more in his 20s. Let's see. Uh, Trump in his 50s. Uh, no, I guess not. Uh, so, this story is complete bullshit. My suspension of disbelief has now been shattered. Like, I believed it up to the point where everybody was standing naked, but now that Donald Trump has black hair, I don't know if I can... Like, my cock knows this is a lie now. I can't pretend this is a real story that happened. <laughs> but you prefer the black hair. I don't know. It's, well, on, on uh, sexy women, you know, Donald Trump, I, he's the only blonde I'll allow. <laughs> anyway, uh, my mother Melania, age 30, who looked like Ivana with breast implants. My sister Tiffany, blonde hair. Then me, Eric. Oh, so this is from the point of view of Eric. I don't think yeah, we knew I was that. Wondering. Um, well, I wondering. It seemed like it was going to be one of the Trumps, but yeah. Why is Eric the main character? That seems to be the least popular of the family. Well, Donald guess. Trump Jr. gets a lot of, like, Twitter interaction. <laughs> Eric is just kind of ugly. <laughs> well, I guess he's the best self-insert character then. <laughs> okay, so, like, all the ugly, you know, like, everybody who wants to fuck the Trump family <laughs> imagines themselves as the Eric of the family. Yeah, because then they have all the sexy people to fuck. Yeah, yeah, the ugly one gets to fuck all the hot siblings and perhaps <laughs> even his own stepmom. Perfect. Or is that his real mom? No, it can't be. No idea. Probably not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how um, old would he be? Is he? I don't know how old he is in this story. It doesn't say. Uh, but he's, oh. he's got to be like a teenager, right? If Trump is 54. <laughs> is he like 12? <laughs> I don't know. I would hope not. <laughs> I would, you know, I would hope not. I don't think that's allowed on this website. <laughs> uh, Dad and me walked over to the coffin and undressed my si sister's corpse. Hmm. As you do. Okay. Donald lifted the top half of the body and slipped the dress off the shoulders to the waist, leaving a white bra. You got your lotion well, I, out yet? I like how they how they all ready to do this and they didn't like. <laughs> they didn't need to they, talk about it. Just like everybody spontaneously <laughs> knew it was time to start fucking the corpse. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> no preparation required. <laughs> Um, they're following uh, you know, what they learned at in the pizza restaurant, Ping Pong Pizza. They were all in the basement rehearsing this. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> this what, is going to be like... Before? This is going to be the <laughs> most uh, uh, <laughs> demonetized video I've probably ever done. <laughs> he next placed the top half of the coffin lid down and lifted the bottom half and slipped her dress completely off, showing a matching pair of white panties. Okay, so white bra and white panties on the dead Ivanka. Oh, uh, well. Don't know why you... Why you Everybody wants so some! <laughs> I want some too! <laughs> Should that song be playing while they're doing this? <laughs> Maybe. Ivanka had oh okay good. Ivanka had 36D mammary. Is what? that she is that the computer? horniest? Is that the sexiest way to write that? She has 36D mammary. 
<laughs> What's that mean? It, that's like her breast size, but I don't know why they put mammary in there. Could have just said like 36D boobs. I thought I thought they were telling how much mammary she has. No, mammary, like the mammary gland of your titty. Yeah, that is bizarre. It's like the medical way to describe it when it should be sexy. <laughs> oh yeah, it clearly should be. I think we could write a better erotica about the Trump family than this. Like this seems like a computer <laughs> wrote it if they're putting 36D ma she uh, Ivanka had 36D mammary. Period. That's a sentence. Wow. Yeah, a, I guess it was AI generated. Oh no. And then in parentheses, all the blood relations of my mother seemed to have big tits before they're 20. Okay. Uh, do women's uh, boobs usually keep growing after 20? I thought they just started sagging at some point. Well, if you have a child and they grow for sure, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that otherwise. is true. True. Uh, Donald took another round of photos. He, he, why is he taking photos? Is that really something you want photo evidence of? Your family having an incestual orgy with uh, Bill Clinton with and a corpse. Well, he's just so happy because he knows he can get away with this, you know? <laughs> what are they going to do? Arrest him? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying. <laughs> they really are trying. Um, hmm. He then, uh, where do we leave off? Took another round of photos. He then lifted again to the top half, removed the cross and placed it in a coat pocket. He takes the, the cross off of the, the coffin and puts it in his coat pocket. He uh, paused to, okay. He paused <laughs> to kiss the mammary glands. Are you fucking what? kidding me? What on the inside? <laughs> yeah, like, what, he fucking <laughs> tore open her dent to <laughs> kiss the bare muscle? Who the fuck wrote this? I'm getting the impression it was written by, like, an Indian teenager who does not know English very well. And they're like, oh, mammary glands, that's sexy. That describes what he's kissing. Yeah, I just Google translated it. <laughs> I think he's doing me a favor. Like, they're not going to demonetize me for kissing mammary glands. If I said, like, you know, he slurped those fat titties, Susan's not going to like that. But mammary glands is so scientific, they can't demonetize me. Yeah, but now you said it anyway. <laughs> well. <laughs> doomed. It was for educational purposes only. Just like reading the story. <laughs> yeah, the memories. <laughs> Uh, Donald discarded the panties. We then picked up her body and placed it on the floor in front of the buyer. Is that part of a church? B I E R? Uh, never heard of it. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I, I said that they should play music, and it looks like they're about to. Uh, Donald opened his briefcase and produced a camera and a CD player. He quickly snapped a few pictures of his daughter. Putting his camera aside, he of what had been his teenaged daughter. Okay. Putting his camera Wait, aside, he of what had been his teenaged daughter. Should that be the title of the episode? Putting the camera aside, he of what had been his teenaged daughter? Well, I'd be the opposite of clickbait. I'd, <laughs> no, I'd be like, well, I gotta hear about this. I have no clue what the <laughs> fuck they're trying to say. I better click to find out. It's all revealed. <laughs> well, we don't know what we're saying either. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm, where, uh, okay. I, well, there's clearly he forgot a was. word. He of what? He, he he looked at what had been his teenage daughter? I don't know. I guess so. He turned on the well, CD player. Oh, what, what were you going to say? I'm glad he removed the cross so that the Christ wouldn't be mad, you know? <laughs> yeah, now Christ can uh, look away with a blind eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's no cross on the coffin. I guess he can fuck it. <laughs> Jesus is like giving him a thumbs up of approval. And Trump's like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for letting me fuck my daughter. That's my Donald Trump impression. <laughs> wow. He's so sorry. I nailed it. <laughs> it's going to be Perfect. huge. My penis is going to be huge in my daughter. <laughs> in my dead daughter. <laughs> See, I... I I, I thought that'd be more like a, more of a decomposed corpse, but I guess it's a pretty fresh corpse. Yeah, I mean, I have to imagine the funeral home did all the bells and whistles of preserving the body, so it's not like a zombie. Uh, I thought yep. from the description, didn't they say they were bringing it back to life? 
Oh, wow. I guess we'll see. Yeah, what the fuck happened to that? Maybe it was just a metaphor because they're going to be using the body as if it was alive. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe the chiss will bring her back to life. You know? <laughs> the magical Donald Trump jizz, yeah. It's very yeah. famous. Yeah, you, you just got to use your father's chiss to revive, you know? Uh, this is going to be a long it. episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's good. No, I'm, I'm glad that somebody's going to... You know, somebody out there is so lonely and pathetic. Like, they see a two-hour Florian and Mumkey podcast, <laughs> and they like... They start jizzing, much like Donald Trump's about to, I have to imagine. Because um, he turns on the CD player and it played a mournful piece of music, organ and violin. Does that get wow. Does that get you in the mood? Is that the organ we're going to be playing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Returning to the top, Donald lifted the top half of the lid again and uh, unhooked her bra, unveiling a set of th th 38D breasts. Okay, so he got it right that time. He didn't say mammaries. With, yep. with areobes the size of quarters. Well, I guess that's a good size. Uh, did he mean air, areolas, maybe? Air, aerobes. A-E-R-O-B-E-S. Is that a word? No, we clearly meant areolas. Come on. If I Google search aerobes, will Come Ivanka on, Trump's tits pop up? It's, it's obvious that those would be <laughs> the perfect size for areola, so well, it's that's really what he meant. An aerobe is a microorganism which grows in the presence of air or requires oxygen for growth. So if those are the yeah. size of quarters, like, we are being attacked <laughs> by giant bacteria. <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch that. That's horrifying to have Micromancy in your story. gone wrong. <laughs> for real. They revived the wrong part. <laughs> he, yeah. he founded... Each breast for a time, with a faraway oh, yeah. look in his eyes. Did he mean fondled, do you think? N not oh, no, founded. He definitely, he definitely founded them. <laughs> he, he put in the startup capital and, and he, really, <laughs> he really went. To that. He probably did pay for a breast implant. So he, he oh, did no. found each breast. <laughs> 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 then he resumed... <laughs> to the bottom half and removed the panties leaving his daughter Ivanka now completely in the coffin only wearing the cross so she, why is she wearing a oh. cross he put it in his coat I was, no I guess he put it on her I guess it wasn't mentioned mm. so now Jesus is pissed like you son <laughs> of a bitch he? the one thing I requested you fucked it up <laughs> he oh no um <laughs> well at least he's on Ivanka now I don't know it's, it's starting to get a little bit graphic here Oh wow! Who could um, imagine? <laughs> Should we keep going? You think have we gotten enough? It's up to you. <laughs> I'll go until you get uncomfortable enough to say stop, because maybe oh, it'll I, never happen. I, I will not deprive our audience of this masterpiece. <laughs> okay. He <laughs> leaned even, in. <laughs> even if I must suffer, they they must <laughs> they must have their entertainment. Okay. Stupid <laughs> fucking computer making dumb sound effects. Okay. He leaned in. He probed her slit with with has hand and discovered <laughs> she, she hadn't died a virgin. Oh, oh no. Dialogue. It must have been Chad. <laughs> thought Donald. <laughs> wow, Thinking of her boyfriend. <laughs> Wait, so when, she couldn't have had a boyfriend named Chad. <laughs> Donald Trump just said that she did. Well, her boyfriend so. Chad took her virginity and he found out by probing her slit with his hand. Yeah, wow, he must be so pissed that he doesn't get to enjoy a virtual corpse. <laughs> he's he's like a you know, he's really a brilliant uh gynecologist. Like he could just tell immediately by molesting the corpse of his daughter. Why well, not? He has just mo molested so many young women. <laughs> he, he grabbed her by the pussy quite literally this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of experience. I know he was up to no good, but you guys never listened. Father Paul continued, By agreement, Donald will make love to Ivanka, Eric shall fuck Melania, and Tiffany will mount me. <laughs> wow, why does Father Paul get teenage Tiffany? That's fucked up, Paul. What is uh, what's Epstein going to think of that? That's not fair. Yeah, I know, right? Why doesn't he get the corpse, too? What a shame, huh? I, oh, Well, yeah, I guess so. But I don't know if Father Paul should be really be involved at all. If, if it's like a big incest thing, what the fuck is Father Paul doing there? 
Well, it's clear like that Rick and Morty episode where they made the whole world toxic and then there was an orgy in the church, you know? It's just like that. Oh, you think this story might have ripped off Rick and Morty a little bit? Yeah, it's all booger people, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a Father Paul... Oh, no, I already read that. He leaned over to kiss the lips, her breasts before mounting the body like a man mounts a woman. Okay, I'm glad they got that part right. They, they didn't. He didn't mount the body like some other species or gender. <laughs> yeah, not like a dog. No, that would be weird. Yeah, we would never have sex in the position of a dog. Yeah, we'll what be. would even be the point? Yeah. Then you can't see the boobies. <laughs> uh, it probably wouldn't work anyway. She'd probably just fall over. <laughs> yeah, women have very weak arm strength. Well, if they're dead. Oh uh, well, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. <laughs> Uh, then worked his way down to the mammary glands and started drilling her from the front. What, Donald Trump is drilling for oil now. <laughs> no, he's actually drilling her from the front, okay. We thought that the, the BP drilling went wrong, but man, this is a real disaster. Wow. <laughs> he fondled and sucked on each breast in turn. He was. See, 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 he does know what fondling means. Wow. Yeah, he just fucked up a few times with his story and did, did not it. care to, you know, reread it or really check like the red squiggle underlined words in his uh, <laughs> micro or open libre fucking open office bullshit. Um, he <laughs> resumed the kissing down to Ivanka's m- Mound Day Venus. Wow. What does that mean? I mean, a mound would be like a shape, so that makes sense. And then Venus is the, the goddess of beauty, so... A mound day I, Venus? I'm pretty sure that would be... Is that like her pubic hair? No, I, I think it was just like the shape of the vagina, I don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, he turned his daughter over. He shoved his ready tool deep into her anal canal. Wait, is it Mont? Mont de Pubis? Oh, wait, no, it's probably not. M-O-U-N-D space D-E space V-E-N-U-S. Mound de Venus. Well, there is a Mont de Venus, I guess. And what is, is is it like a big pussy? It's all in French, so I'm not seeing much. So probably a big (laughs) pussy, if it's French. Yeah, yeah, probably just French for pussy, you know? (laughs) Okay. Uh, after ten thrusts, he withdrew his still hard rod. <laughs> Does that make you horny to know like the exact number of times you thrusted? Yeah, I hate when people thrust eleven times or any <laughs> yeah. number really. If it's it has to be a well, like a prime number for you. Well, no, those would be uneven too. <laughs> uh, and turned her back over. He then started stroking slowly. Meanwhile, wow, he's not even finishing inside. Okay, wait, who, who uh, didn't Father Paul say he gets to fuck Tiffany? <laughs> and oh, well, oh, I forgot, Tiffany will suck the cocks of all the men. Did we miss that part? I, well, I just like to pretend it's all necrophilia. Okay, oh, well, I'm, I'm confused because coming up it says, uh, um, I, I keep losing my spot. Um, t- meanwhile, Tiffany started to wax my tool with her mouth. Okay, so yeah, all the men get it from Tiffany. Uh, my dad kept increasing the tempo of his thrust to the point where Ivanka's body was jerking hard against the carpet in reaction to my dad's fucks. The carpet? Hmm. Oh, well, I guess, did they put it on the ground and there's a carpet in the church? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, good to know. I... <laughs> and uh, he, he shot his load inside her, so hopefully Trump's done. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I guess we wouldn't have a carpet in a church too much because we got, like, already old churches with, like, wooden floors. Yeah. So, I, I guess you might. I have no clue. Maybe at Trump's fan- fancy uh, sex orgy necrophilia church, there's a lot of carpet there. Well, not that fancy if it's carpets. Probably, like, a regular house or something. <laughs> Uh, do we want to finish this story? Like, now that Trump has finished, does that mean we're finished? Because we're really doing this for Trump. Yeah, I guess I guess it's a good stopping point. Yeah, like, we got the necrophilia, we got, you know, I don't need to hear about Father Paul's shenanigans here. Yeah, you know, it's pretty poorly constructed. There's probably no no 
pay off at the end. <laughs> or maybe maybe you should just like read the last Okay, sentence. skip to the very ending. Okay. <laughs> yeah. To end the service, Dad and me picked up Ivanka and and carried her back to the casket. So double the well, end there on you there. Go. Yeah, it's a perfectly told story, I guess. Uh, there's st- Well, there's still more. His half-spent tool waving back and forth as he walked with his daughter in his arms. For the last time, I kissed my poor sister's body all over from her lips to her womanhood. Ivanka was both a very good friend and fuck to me. He placed the body back in the casket, kissed her lips and breasts one last time. All right. Well, I, I think we got the best out of the story. Well, it's and not I, I, over! I still got two more sentences, basically. I walked okay. her... Sw- I, I placed her sweater back on, keeping her bra as a keepsake of her. <laughs> My dad slowly dressed his wonderful creation on... <laughs> oh, right. I saw Davis talking about his penis. <laughs> <laughs> and kept her panties with him. And then closed the coffin lid. We closed the lid, got dressed, then waited for the hearse to come for the casket. The end. Um, you want to hear the stats on this video? Or on this uh, story? <laughs> Is, do you want to guess how many times has this been read? Uh, 10,000. 22,146 times. Wow. Now, there were 745 votes on uh, the rating, and it's a percentage out of 100. So what do you think the Rotten Tomatoes score of this story is? Uh, but, well, it would be a perfect, but it has a lot of typos, so it's probably 90. Wow. Wow. 87.8. <laughs> you're so I'm close. Just, you you I'm, are I'm the man of... <laughs> you're the voice of the people. The voice of all <laughs> Trump incest, necrophilic-loving people. <laughs> they can look to you as their, you know, their guide. You're the touchstone yeah, of the community. It's always sad when a when a, a, a woman dies so young, but I, I'm sure they had this. It's, it's good that they had this touching service. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, there are zero <laughs> comments. What comment should I post? To, and hopefully, our fans go find this story and leave some comments on there. But what comment should we wow. post? Florian <laughs> Himsel <laughs> loved oh, this story. <laughs> Well, you should you should say that you feel cheated on as as Trump's previous lover. Wow! I tried to post that comment and it said this story doesn't exist or is not generated. Wow! I guess we, st- we found it just in time. If you refresh, it's probably gone. <laughs> what happened? No, it's Try still there. I, must know. I did. Oh, it's still there. Okay. It just won't let me post a comment. That's probably why there's zero. Maybe it's just a bug on the website. Oh, I really well, wanted to read. The- the comments on this one (laughs) does doc forbin have many more stories uh wow okay (laughs) the unfortunate cyclist Uh uh-oh that's the title of his sex story and the the tags are cruelty death (laughs) erotica extreme snuff torture violence and rape wow (laughs) oh my god oh my god sexual shenanigans of greta thunberg Oh, Didn't you no. just watch a movie about her? Yeah, it was pretty boring. I, I guess I watched like half an hour of it. Florian. I realized Florian. it was all subtitles. Yeah. The description just... says, Happy 18th birthday, Greta Thunberg. Now here's your 18th birthday present. A fanfic about you. Did you wow. write this? <laughs> no. Was this you? At least he waited until she was of age to... Write a story about, I guess, raping her. Rape, Wait, teen, sa- violence, say- virginity. Are you saying I wrote the other stories too? <laughs> <laughs> the same uh, you have a deep and rich history of writing Trump erotica, so it very well, you could be Doc Forbin. Wow, I guess my dark secret really has been revealed. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Wow, no more clickbait. It's all true. I think he mostly <laughs> writes about necrophilia, because, I mean, that's really the theme I'm getting from all these titles here. I mean, the other was was, was snuff, so I guess that's even better. There's yeah. a title called Another Sexual Shenanigans of the Trump Regime. Mm. Is a regime. <laughs> well, well, that would apply to any form of government, I think. Oh, so it's not like uh, authoritarian nightmare? I don't think so, no. I think and the tags on that one include gay, so there might be some gay shit in that one. 
<laughs> I know you're dying to hear, you know, Eric and Donald Trump Jr. hash it all out on the battlefield of the bed. You know what? We probably should move on to the next segment. <laughs> uh, Taylor Swift goes to that stupid club. And that this is a masturbation story. So I guess Taylor Swift is mm, masturbating to death and snuff. Uh, I thought that was our next segment. Oh, oh well. <laughs> no, I'm still. You wanted to move on, so I'm going to keep reading the stories because this <laughs> is your punishment, and I finally have you ready to stop. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I, I'm just disappointed <laughs> that, that we didn't get to talk about my my Rick and Morty video until the. We're very still going to. We well. I, if we're going to review every episode of Rick and Morty, it's always going to be the final segment of the episode, so people really have to wait for it. <laughs> wow. I, I'm also going to have timestamps on this fucking podcast so people can skip to Rick and Morty if they don't want to <laughs> keep hearing about. <laughs> uh, let's see. Sh- sexual shenanigans of Trump apologists Nicole Arbor, Caitlin Bennett, Ashton Witty, and Lauren Southern. Wow. <laughs> that is a wow. I was about to say wow, too. Well, uh, sexual shenanigans of Boris Johnson's shit re- regime Matt Hancock well I, I guess I want to hear about the one with, with Lauren Sutton if we must read one <laughs> oh my god oh my god a blonde woman with blue eyes Florian <laughs> wow we found your fucking fetish today yeah, I'm ready to move on to Rick and Morty oh wait no there's a, there's a Lauren Southern fanfic well I guess I have some time for that <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to control F Lauren Southern in this story and and see what she's up to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, her full name only appears twice. Well, just try the first name. Uh, and the other girl, the one on the left, Lauren Southern, about 5 foot 6, 110 pounds, late 20s, cute and curvy, seductive baby face, sexy smile. Do you concur so far? Curvy? How oh, jeez. Dimpled cheeks, big green eyes, honey-colored long blonde hair, glossy pink lipstick, long gold earrings and glittering gold bracelets, a gold QAnon pendant dangling from your <laughs> pierced navel, wearing a shiny blue metallic micro miniskirt, matching blue metallic tube top, and expensive spike-heeled black pumps. Her high, firm wow. 36C tits bounced and jiggled as she yanked open the front passenger door, hopped in, and started talking. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is this from the same guy? This seems yeah. slightly more literate. <laughs> Maybe he has improved. Maybe those Trump stories were like his humble beginnings, and now he's moved on to Lauren Southern fanfic. Well, it was also the early peak in his career since it was the top of the <laughs> of the list. <laughs> well, let's see how many. This story is much, much longer, and uh, it only has ten thousand views. So yeah, I guess uh, he peaked early. We yeah. should all be so lucky. <laughs> yeah, the best. <laughs> uh, you want to talk about Rick and Morty now? <laughs> sure. Oh, okay, you're finally ready to move on. <laughs> After I- I'm sure gallons of jizz have been expelled. <laughs> And now you're ready to talk, you know, light up a cigarette, talk about your favorite cartoon coming back. Yeah, you know, I, I really did, didn't have words to describe the arouse. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing but wow. Yeah. Well, you had your big season one Rick and Morty analysis video come out. I watched all 40 minutes. Uh, I was enthralled. I was engrossed. Uh, I, I saw Rick and Morty. Through a whole new lens of you know, a true super fan who uh, he thinks about the show in a way that perhaps I had not before. So I got a newfound appreciation for season one, even though I've always uh, liked it. I think maybe season two is slightly better. So I'm really looking forward to the next installment. But uh, why did you want to bring up that video just to, to shill it? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, everybody go check it out. It's a good video. <laughs> It was especially yeah, yeah. helpful to watch it right before season six because it reminded me of a lot of uh, old subplots and like little stories that were brought back for the premiere. Yeah, they, it was really convenient that they brought so much back. Oh, and uh, if we're done talking about your video, I do want to talk about this episode. <laughs> hey, since this isn't supposed to come out for a few weeks, should I just cut out the Rick and Morty part and upload it today as its own video? And then we can let everybody in the podcast know that we did it somewhere else 
Yes, please. Oh, yeah, smart. <laughs> smart thinking. So, uh, hey, everybody. Uh, if you wanted to hear us talk about Rick and Morty that we just did for like 20 minutes, uh, go watch a video I uploaded, I guess, two weeks ago. I think it'd make more sense to upload it on its own. <laughs> so, so do we do an outro for that video still? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Too much attitude. <laughs> Well, uh, so this will be the outro for the Is It Kino on Rick and Morty and the outro for the <laughs> Simeon Jimmy Treehouse podcast that will not come out for another two weeks. So, Florian, what would you like to plug twice? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, definitely watch my Rick and Morty video. I, I put in so much effort and I was sick. So then my, my editor had to crunch for two weeks to, to edit that whole beast. <laughs> And so, there was a lot I, of uh, good editing in there. Like, he did not, you know, just submit some <laughs> garbage. Like, it's not just clips of the episode. He's actually doing shit. Yeah, it was pretty pretty wild that I insisted on him, like, drawing the, the gadgets as well, you know? <laughs> oh, you didn't just pull those off of Google? I mean, yeah, they, they are, but, like, you still have to edit them because, like, usually Rick is holding them, so you have to All edit right. out the fingers and you have to remove the background. Damn, yeah, you did force him to put in a lot of effort while you did nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It took me like 10 hours to record all of the audio. Wow. For a 40-minute video. And you have to, like, the, the next seasons will probably be longer, too. So you might yeah. be fucked. I, I could probably... I, I need to learn how to do this shit faster to, to make... To, to read a script faster, I guess. That's my main thing. Like, writing it isn't too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I guess go check out Florian's Rick and Morty video. I got a link in the description, and uh, check out Ballfrog on Steam. That's my plug for my thing that I made. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Everyone, check out Ballfrog. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.